Hi everyone, in this episode of Versus Zero Pro, as I said last time, I'm gonna be playing Abyss Actors. And Abyss Actors are a deck that I actually really really like. Uh, they are probably my favorite Pendulum deck. Um, maybe the only one being that is a little bit more uh, interesting to me is the Supreme King. Uh, deck which summons the Supreme King Zark, but that is kind of like Pendulum Magicians, so I don't really tend to play it as much. I tend to play Abyss Actors because I feel a lot of people kind of underrate them or don't realize how good they are and how they interesting they are to play. Plus, uh, they were played by one of the best characters from. Um, Arc 5, if I gotta be honest, it's he's probably Savatari is probably my favorite character out of Arc 5. Um, although I haven't really thoroughly uh, thought about it, but I feel like uh, because in that series, because a lot of old characters got reintroduced, uh, not much of the new cast got to really shine, and the only one that kind of managed to stand out as much as the old characters was Savatari, which is why I like him, and I like his deck a lot. And as you might notice that I haven't really changed that much, I think I just added another Mirror Force, or at least removed one, I don't remember really. Um, I'm really bothered by the fact that it's a 43 card deck, so I do want to remove one of the cards. Which I think is gonna be this one. I, I don't care whether it makes the deck work worse or not. I don't really need that. I just like it to be an even number. I don't like odd number decks. And yeah, I haven't really changed it that much since uh, the last video. Because um, I think the deck functions well and it, there doesn't seem to be any support cards that I could add in. And I don't really want to add uh, outside monsters because I tend to like uh, to play these kind of decks like pure. Just the ones that are needed for the deck, not meta cards, not anything that has nothing to do with the deck, you know. I prefer pure archetype decks. And for the extra deck, uh, you might notice that I have the Supreme King Dragons, which uh, sub they synergize surprisingly well with this deck because they require Dark Pendulum monsters for as their materials. And this deck is pretty much completely comprised of Dark Pendulum monsters, so they actually synergize really well. Although the uh, Synchro Supreme King can be used in this deck uh, because the Abyss Actors don't have a Tuner monster and obviously because Supreme King uh, um, Clear Wing is a Synchro monster it would require a Tuner. And I considered adding a Dark Pendulum Tuner monster that would allow me to use that monster but at the end of the day this deck is Abyss Actors, it's not Supreme King deck. I have a separate deck that focuses on that, that we're probably gonna play in a year or so, uh, depending on how frequently I release these kind of episodes. And I've, I've added these because they could be useful in a pinch, because this deck otherwise would not necessarily have the strength to win over, but they're still going to be like my last option. I will try to win just using the Pendulum Monsters without these, uh, these two. So yeah, um, if you didn't watch my first video, uh, the quick rules about these dudes are uh, that I'm gonna be doing uh, three to five uh, dudes against random opponents uh, online, and uh, as long as either I win or lose three out of those five dudes, that's it for the video. I literally play until I win or lose three dudes. I think that's the best way to do it because sometimes I would like to do more than three duos, like I would feel that it's too short, but other times I would feel like doing more than three is just gonna be a little bit of a pain in the ass. So I think having this middle ground where it could go either way, it also kind of makes it fun because you never know. Sometimes you might get five duos, sometimes you might get three duos. It makes it a little bit more fun. So yeah, I guess without further ado, um, Let's get into the first duel. Okay, we got our first opponent, FW. I wonder what play, uh, deck they're gonna be playing. Oh, I definitely have to turn up the volume a little bit. That's way too quiet. That's better. Upstart Goblin. Of course, everybody plays Upstart Goblin. Red Eyes. Okay, this is actually gonna be kinda cool. 
I love red eyes. It's one of my favorite archetypes. It's probably my favorite archetype from the original series. Uh, together with uh, my favorite character from the original series. John Ochi, otherwise known as Joey. Honestly, I wish I could react to uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Doom Monsters and all the Yu-Gi-Ohs actually uh, in their subversion on YouTube, because that was so cool. Okay, so my hand kind of sucks. Um, I think this would allow me to... Yeah, I think this could be useful. Uh, special summon it, uh, place one Abyss Hector Pendulum Monster. Okay, so uh, I need to do this. Although this doesn't really do much. But hey. Uh, let's link summon this guy. Uh, then I'm gonna put Evil Heal in my Pendulum Zone. And then because of Hyper Director's effect, I can target one card in my Pendulum Zone, Special Summon it, and then put a different Pendulum Monster from my uh, deck to the Pendulum Zone. And we're going to add one of the best monsters in this archetype, Mellow Madonna, uh, uh, which uh, allows you to pay 1000 life points and add an Abyss Actor uh, Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. Like, this deck has a surprising amount of... Uh, what was the word for it? Like, you always keep getting cards no matter what. Like, resource uh, recovery. It, you get resources so easily with this deck. And yeah, if you heal when he's special summoned, uh, for each Abyss Actor on the field, uh, the opponent's monster loses 1000 attack points. Um, okay, what else can we do? So for this, I'm gonna pay 1000 uh, life points. Then I'm going to add another Evil Heal from my deck. And I'm gonna put Twinkle Little Star uh, in my other Pendulum Zone. And now I can summon monsters from level 1 to 8. Which allows me to summon the other Evil Heal. And I guess Funky Comedian from the extra deck as well. I think because of his effect now I can get to boost one of those two monsters. Attack quite a lot. Okay, now we're gonna lower his attack even more. He's probably gonna give up before I win, but yeah. I, I think I've pretty much won at this point. Yep, told you. But this is way too quick of a win, so I'm not gonna count this, but it is going to be featured in the video. So let's get into the actual first duel. Hey, we got FW again. I hope this time he's not as uh, pissed and doesn't surrender. Why are my hands so shitty? Jesus Christ. I mean, there's still things I can do. Is he hoping to draw uh, the Red Eyes fusion spell? I mean, I don't know how good his deck is, because Red Eyes can do some pretty cool stuff. If you're lucky, you can inflict a lot of damage to your opponent. What the hell is that monster? Samsara Dragon. That's a new one. Okay, this time, if I beat him, I'm gonna count it, I don't care. I kind of want to go easy on him a little bit. Okay. I'm going to try not to OTK him, you know. Uh, let's reveal this and this. Then we're going to add this one, but I'm not going to take him out that easily. It's, it's way too easy. Uh, I'm gonna put this in the pendulum zone, uh, which has a pendulum, and it has a pendulum effect that if my opponent's most, uh, uh, my opponent has monsters on his field, I can special summon it from the pendulum zone. So we now get a monster easily on the field, and uh, wait, what can this card do? Uh, place one Abyss Actor Pendulum Monster from your deck in your pendulum zone. Um, could be useful, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna summon this and put this in the pendulum zone. 
So I'm going to activate this guy's effect. I can tribute it. And then we're going to put Evil Heal in my Pendulum Zone. Then I'm going to use Extras as a Link Material to summon Hyper Director. Which, as we saw in the first duel, I can target one card in my Pendulum Zone, Special Summon it, and then put another Pendulum Monster from my deck uh, in that zone. And we're going to put... Um, I mean, I don't know. I guess I'm gonna use this one. Because I can use uh, this card's effect to boost the pendulum scale of this monster to 9. I'm literally gonna defeat him in the very similar way. Um, yeah, let's get another one. I'm literally defeating him in the same way. Okay, now we can special summon this bad boy, which lowers his attack a lot. Then we're gonna activate this. Uh, we're gonna activate this. Uh, I don't want to destroy any other card. Okay. Um, I'm gonna set this face down, and I'm gonna attack. Okay, I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be able to do anything. Okay, let's set this one face down. And this one direct attack. I still didn't win. But I'm pretty much I'm gonna win. Pretty sure I'm gonna win. Because I don't think he's really gonna do much. He's probably gonna surrender one mo once more. In three, two, one. Sorry, buddy. My field spell prevents your monsters from activating their effects. Uh, does this have an effect? Oh. Well, it's not usable. Apparently it has an effect. Uh, these cards, like Amis uh, scripts, um, whenever they are destroyed uh, by my opponent's card effect, uh, if I have an Amis Actor Pendulum monster in my extra deck, um, there's usually an effect that activates, like for this card, it's uh, put one card on my opponent's field on the top of their deck, this one uh, allows me to draw until I have five cards in my hand, and the other one um, allows me to, uh, I think, add two pendulum monsters or something, I don't know. And this card's effect, uh, the field spell, as long as I have a pendulum monster on my field that was pendulum summoned, um, it changes every uh, effect by my opponent's monster to destroy one sp set spell trap card on my opponent's your opponent controls. AKA he destroys my spell cards every time he activates an effect. So yeah, I don't care. If uh, I get him once more and I do him once more, I'm gonna count this as like a one duel. Because I would have defeated him three times. So I hope he doesn't join again. Okay, we got a different person. So that means I'm not going to count those first two duels. I'm still going to include them, but I'm not going to count them. So this is our actual first duel. Because hopefully the person I'm going to be doing now is going to be a little bit more competent. No offense to whoever I was dueling. If you ever watched this video, I didn't mean offense to you. Hmm, Foolish Boy of Goods. Pretty good in cubics. Literally, the deck can't work without it. Okay, Psy Frames, interesting. I don't think I've ever faced off against them. But I also don't really play uh, online that much. Okay, um, if that set card is not really a good card uh, that's gonna save him, he's fucked. Or she's fucked, because it, it's a girl, I assume. 
Okay, so we're gonna set the scale 0, Abyss Actor, Mellow Madonna, and scale 9, Twinkle Little Star, which allows me to Pendulum Summon between level 1 and 8. Come on, is your internet connection shit? Because I'm pretty sure it's not mine. Okay, now I'm gonna activate a Metal Madonna's effect, paying 1000 life points and adding Evil Heal, the big guy. Because he is the biggest monster in this deck. But yeah, this deck is actually pretty, pretty good. You were able to get your resources in this deck surprisingly well. Like, no matter what happens, you can easily get the cards that you would need. Like, even though he blocked me right now. That's fine, I can still Pendulum Summon a pretty decent monster. Uh, and this monster actually, uh, you can prevent its destruction by battle or card effect once per turn. And then we're also gonna activate Abyss Prop Wild Wyrn, which also protects uh, by battle once. So basically, if he attacks, if she attacks my monster uh, twice, it's not gonna get destroyed. Oh, what are you doing? I forgot that Psy Frames did this bullshit. Are you gonna Synchro Summon? They have pretty cool artwork, I'm gonna give them that. Oh, what? Oh yeah, he is Synchro Summoning, I think. Yeah, you're gonna Synchro Summon. What monster is- oh shit, yeah, I was about to say, what monster are you gonna summon with two tuners? You motherfucker. Okay, we're definitely gonna need this card face down. <laughs> That's the one thing that could save me right now. Although... I think we might be safe, but uh, does this allow me to- or prevent me from special summoning? Uh, you can- Oh, the effect got negated, so I can special summon from the extra deck. Okay. I think I can manage to barely take out this monster. We'll see. So now I'm special summon Hyper Director, and by this point you should know exactly what it does, so I'm not gonna repeat it. Um, which one should we go for? I mean, it's gonna get special summons, so... I think I'm gonna go with this one. I guess we could also put uh, Pendulum Switch as a face down, just in case. But then I'm gonna fill up all my spell and traps, and I don't really like that. Are you serious? Fuck you with the hunt traps! Fuck you. End my turn. Come on, attack me, you fucking asshole. Although, you're gonna destroy all the cards on the field, so fuck. I forgot. Well, shit. Okay, I guess this is kind of a meta deck, isn't it? Even though I'm playing on casual. And if you're wondering why exactly I'm playing on casual, I mean, I don't really think that's there is that much of a difference because I'm pretty sure everybody plays on whatever they feel like with whatever they deck they're playing. Like it might be a meta deck, but they still could be playing it casually. But the reason I'm going more for a casual is because I want the decks to be able to at least do something. Okay, this card, um, 
I mean, I don't, I can't really do much, can I now? The best thing I can do is set this face down and that's it. I don't really think I'm gonna win this one. It's gonna save itself from the dist Oh, I guess it wouldn't. Why? Okay, uh, what are we gonna special summon then? I think Wild Hope is a good possibility, but not really the best possibility. But yeah, I think I'm gonna special summon him. Still, I... I, I I did not expect to face off something like this right off the bat. Okay. Uh, add a card to my hand. You will be very useful. I just hope I draw another pendulum monster next turn. Because if you don't, we are kind of fucked. Okay, not the worst thing. Uh, what do we have in the extra deck? We have a decent bunch of monsters. So I think we'll be fine. Oh, I could have special summoned it. I'm an idiot. That's fine. As long as he doesn't have another fucking hand trap, we're gonna be fine. If he does, I might as well just attack his opponent's monster. Fuck you. You suck. Okay, so we're gonna activate Mellow Madonna then. Um, I'm gonna tri use this as a material to summon Hyper Director. Then I'm gonna activate Mellow Madonna's effect to pay 1000 life points and get um who can we get evil heal i really hope he doesn't have a hand trap this time because i'm gonna fucking i mean i'm gonna fucking kill her okay so hyper director's effect i'm gonna special summon evil heal for my from my pendulum zone and then we're gonna put twinkle little star and because of evil heal's effect his Tyrant Red Dragon loses 2,000 attack points. Wait, I can special summon as well? Well, we're definitely doing that. Um, then from the extra deck, I guess, we're gonna special summon... What does Mellow Madonna do? Uh, for each Abyss script, is destroyed by battle, you can special summon if uh, blah blah blah. I don't care, let's summon Wild Hope. Then I'm gonna activate Wild Hope's effect, boosting his attack by 100 for each Abyss Actor monster on my field. So now we're gonna use Evil Heal to attack uh, Tyrant Red Dragon, finally destroying that piece of shit. Uh, then with Wild Hope and Hyper Director, I'm gonna attack directly. Pretty good monster. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend is probably my favorite um, Synchro deck. It's the one that I just enjoy the most because I love beatdown decks. That's the thing that I love most about Yu Gi Oh! Just monsters fighting with each other. And that deck emulates that the best. Okay, we can't. We're not gonna activate anything. Uh, Abyss Actor uh, Monster. Okay. So, we're gonna pay 1000 life points. We're gonna get another evil heal. I hope this doesn't cost me because this could be Blazing Mirror Force. Who knows? Um, we're gonna summon the other evil heal as well. Oh god damn it! We're still okay. I still think I can manage to win. Better not be a hand trap. Uh, 
Okay, uh, let's activate this. I'll gain 2,000 life points, so the difference in our life points is not gonna be that big. Okay, so let's... I mean, I guess I can use Hyper Director's Effect. Um, I guess why not? Let's summon Twinkle Little Star. Yeah, I don't think I will even get to use the fusion in the Xyz monster, like the Supreme Kings. Because this deck is actually pretty good. As long as it doesn't get uh, prevented from doing stuff, of course. Um, yeah, I think I'll put another Wild Hope. Okay, so we're gonna activate Wild Hope's effect, boosting his attack. Does this have an effect that is activated when attacked or something? Because I know that it synchros with this one. But I'm not sure exactly how that works. Please don't surrender if you're gonna lose. Because it's so annoying, like... I don't surrender when I'm obviously gonna lose. It's so annoying when people do it. Once per turn, you can banish one Psyfair and monster you control and target, target one card on the field, banish it face down. You realize that that doesn't matter? I can, I can literally still win. You're still dead. But it was a pretty good though, so props for that. Oh, oh, I did not expect that. I guess it was a hand trap, but it was the cool kind. And you ended the battle phase? Oh, you cheeky bastard. Good one. Okay, I guess she's still in the game. That's a good card. So I'm going to activate this card's a pendulum effect, paying thousand life points. Um, let's see. Uh, why? 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 You know what? I don't care. I'm counting this as a win. I played a lot. She played a lot. It is a legitimate win. So I'm gonna be back with you for the genuine second duel, even though this would be the fourth duel if we're counting all of them, but we're not, so let's go to the second duel. Hey, we got the Chaz! I wonder whether he's gonna get to Chaz me. Or what is the saying in English? Because I have only seen the Japanese, the, uh, the Japanese sub Futru. The English dub I actually haven't seen through, so I don't really remember everything about it. I will be reacting to the dub uh, at some point in the future, or at least we'll try to. If he doesn't get claimed or blocked, I'm gonna do it to all the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, but it's gonna be probably a few months until we get to do that, because I just started reactions to the Full Metal Alchemist and to... Uh, TMNT the 2012 series and I'm gonna be starting also to react to Generator Rex so until I'm done with these series it's not gonna get to Yu-Gi-Oh! Although I've decided that whenever I start doing Yu-Gi-Oh! at the same time I'll start reacting to Bakugan and Beyblade as well because those are two other series that I really like. Okay so what exactly are we playing against? Because it seems like it's a little of everything. There's uh, Rose Dragons, there's Playmaker cards, there's Trap Tricks, there's Crusadias, there's uh, Crystrons. It's like everything. There's Guard Dragons. Man, uh, Adam Pro should add a way to get HD cards, honestly. Because it's so annoying 
to have the cards show like the, the lower quality image which is the default and right now the only way to get an HD uh, image for your cards is to uh, download it uh, off the internet and put it in the folder yourself. I'm using Yu-Gi-Oh Pro Deck uh, for the images because that's the easiest way to get HD images for those cards because there's a full database with every single card on that website but it's such a pain in the ass and there's still gonna be cases in which like for example this card doesn't have uh, HD image because I haven't gone through every single new card to add a, an HD image for it I'm just adding HD images as I go through the decks and everything so eventually when I get to play some of these decks I might add uh, HD images but it's gonna be a while How many can you summon? What the hell? Wait, what? What the fuck did you just do? What the fuck happened? Fuck, I can't do anything. Please don't defeat me, allow me to write it out. Uh, come on. Manjome Sanda. Okay. One ten hundred thousand. Okay, I can't do anything. Is it a meta deck? Okay, there's nothing I can do, and my turn. I'm just waiting to lose, and this I'm gonna count as a loss because he completely wrecked me. Like, genuinely. Yes, I didn't really get to do anything, but he genuinely fairly beat me, so... Plus it's a cool way to beat me, he completely destroyed my hand so I didn't get to do anything, so... It's a little bit more interesting because... Uh, it's a little bit more interesting than something like uh, Mystic Mine. Um, because he actually had to use a lot of his cards to do this. I actually wanted to record a video. Whoa. I wonder what he is gonna say to that. I st I'm still adding this to the video because he, you completely wrecked me. He completely wrecked me. It's pretty fun deck. It's not something that I would play. Okay, 
like my username I recently started doing Yu-Gi-Oh videos Hey, I hope I get I got one more subscriber. Hope you enjoy my video if you're watching this. Can you beat me now, please, so I can move on to the next duel? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. It's taking a little bit long. I don't have own eye to record this video. All I can find is a K-pop YouTuber. Uh, I do K-pop reactions, but. I do many types of videos. I recently uh, started doing Yu Gi Oh videos. <sighs> okay, are we gonna end up chatting for the whole fucking night? Oh man. Okay, can you beat me now? So I can move on? If you enjoy my videos, that would be great. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Cool. You wrecked me. Okay. So that was the second duel, right? Uh, we did two duels against FW, which um, I'm not really counting to the act towards the actual duels that we're doing. I'm just still gonna add them. Uh, then we have Alice, um, who I defeated, um, and in this case I got completely wrecked, so that means one win, one loss. Okay, so let's move on to do number three. Hey, we got our third opponent very quickly, get her Enkai. That's a very interesting name. Let's see what they're gonna play. This hand is still shit, but at least there's some things I can do with it. Okay, that was quick. Uh, let's activate Fantastic Theater, then I'm gonna reveal one of my Abyss actors, which I think is gonna be Leading Lady. Um, as long as they have allowed me to activate my card effect. Okay, they did. Uh, and opening ceremony, so I think that allows me to add another Abyss script, right? Um, what could we add though? I feel like because of how weak my hand is, I definitely need some... Some stuff, like some power boost like this. Oh, I completely forgot. Like, I keep forgetting about the Link monster. Like, right now I'm thinking like, oh, I don't have monsters to do anything with, so... I'm like, oh, what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna summon a monster, that's gonna be it. But we have the Link monsters, so there's actually some stuff that we can genuinely do. Uh, we're gonna use this as a Link material to summon Hyper Director. Uh, we're gonna activate this. Um, then we're gonna activate this card effect, Special Summon Superstar, and put another uh, Abyss Actor Pendulum monster in the Pendulum Zone which would be Melomadona. 
Uh, then we're gonna activate its effect, paying 1000 life points. Um, but then we don't have a monster in the battle zone, so I'm gonna add Twinkle Little Star, actually. Uh, we're gonna put her in the pendulum zone and then we're gonna pendulum summon leading lady from the extra deck Then I'm gonna put a face down. Oh, I forgot a big star had an effect actually So let's uh... Oh, come on This is annoying. Stop surrendering Damn it I'm not- I'm not even doing obnoxious fucking combos and people still surrender. That's annoying. Like at least if I was continuously spamming like a bunch of random cards, fine, but I was just doing what my archetype does. That's bullshit. I'm not counting this. Let's go to the actual third duel. Hey, we got our actual third opponent, Platter. Who comes up with these names? I'm just using a simple name, Plummy AG, which is my name, and my, uh, what was the word for it? Like the first letters of my three names. I'm just not really that creative uh, with these kind of names, and I feel like whatever I come up with is just gonna end up being changed after a while, because I have changed the channel actually, uh, the name of the channel a couple of times since it started. It started with the name PageAP. Um, then it was a bunch of different names, but I feel like I would, there isn't a name that uh, encompasses all the types of content that I do on the channel, and I feel like whatever I just come up with, some, something creative, it's just not gonna stay around for long, and I would just end up changing it, so that would be just a waste of time. So that's why I'm just sticking with a simple Plummy AG. You know, Invoked seemed co uh, could be a really cool archetype, and when I think about it, they seem like a cool archetype, but I feel like their monsters are kind of weak. They don't really work as a deck on their own. They feel like monsters that you might add to other decks, but not really play together in one deck, because they're kind of weak. But this seems to be a f combination of... Um, Invokers or Invoked and Shadows. And Shadows have always seemed like an interesting deck to me, but I've never really played them. It was one of the first decks and one of the most annoying decks that I played against when I first found out about these uh, online simulators that you could play Yu Gi Oh! on, like uh, the original Yu Gi Oh! Pro uh, back in 2013 2014. Shadows were so annoying to deal with back then. Okay, so we're gonna put you in the pendulum zone. Um, each player can only special summon monsters once per turn. Oh fuck. Then that means we're definitely gonna be using a uh, pendulum summon. Uh, because of this card effect, paying 1000 life points, adding Abyss Actor Evil Heal from my deck. Then we're gonna activate uh, Wild Hope in my Pendulum Zone because he has an effect that I can target the Abyss Actor in my other zone and change its scale to 9, which is very handy. So now I can summon monsters from level 3 to level 8. And because of this card's effect, I can special summon only once, so... Oh, does that mean I can special summon one monster? Oh, I can special summon all of them, okay. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna put them like this, so if I end up special summoning the Link monster, it's not gonna clog up uh, monsters from the extra deck. Oh yeah, I'm now gonna lower the attack of one of his shadows because I have three uh, Abyss Actors on my field. Okay, let's activate this so they're protected from destruction. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna be attacking. Sasuruki is going to attack El Shadow Winda. I 
Are you gonna activate something? Hello? Man, it's so boring when you have to wait. There's not even much that I can comment on in this kind of game and I'm not really good at just coming up with conversation stuff. So I'm sorry if these videos are not that entertaining, but I kind of use YouTube videos as an excuse to just have fun. <laughs> I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing YouTube videos for people to enjoy, but the biggest reasons why I do the YouTube videos is definitely because I can get away with playing video games in a way. But it's also fun to like uh, share your experiences with others like this. And when I'm playing the video games, I'm gonna be talking to myself like this anyway, so might as well do it in a video. I'm still not gonna OTK him though. I'm not really good at, at, at OTKing, and it's also not fun. The only deck with which I've had fun OTKing is Gem Knights, and I'm not sure that OTKing works for that deck now. At least it's very hard to do. But also back then when I uh, realized that you could actually very easily OTK with that deck, it was kind of fun. It was really fun because I never like was that much of a combo player and I never until that point realized how much I can recycle the cards and monsters and everything to, uh, to end up inflicting so much damage to my opponent. And most of it burn damage as well. And that was kind of fun. And he surrendered. Should I count this? I mean, I the reason why I'm contemplating it is because these videos are supposed to be fun. And I feel like you only so rarely get to actually face off against your opponent in a meaningful way. Like, if you watched my video, the first video of this series, uh, which I played, uh, Attic Nisters. The part of the video which was the main part in which the wins and lo losses I actually counted, um, in which the part in which I talked was much less entertaining than the dues which for which I ended up lo losing the audio. Like those dues which are in the second half of the video are so much more fun because it was so much more back and forth, and I really thoroughly enjoyed playing uh, those dues. It's a shame that I lost the audio because it was so much fun. But those kind of dudes happen so rarely, and most of the dudes are just like this, just I end up doing a little bit too much damage, my opponent doesn't end up doing anything, they surrender. I end up being completely wrecked so I can't do anything and I wait for, the, uh, for 15 minutes for them to finish their combo and defeat me. It's just kind of boring, you know? And especially when a deck like Abyss Actors which just constantly just gets resources and activates stuff and everything it's just not fun that's why I don't really like combo decks that much even though obviously it's less annoying when I'm playing it and much more annoying when I'm playing against it but still Abyss Actors are not too annoying because they just summon their monsters and don't really prevent you from playing Yu-Gi-Oh but anyway I'm getting a little sidetracked I think I'm gonna count it because my opponent did a bunch of stuff, I countered his stuff or at least destroyed his stuff and seemingly he uh, wouldn't be able to do anything so next turn I would have destroyed him anyway so I think I'm gonna count it. Which means that right now we have two wins and one loss which means that if the next duel ends up in a win that's gonna be it for the video then. But yeah let's get into the potentially final duel but otherwise known as the fourth duel. And we got our final fourth opponent, the almighty player. Who, what deck is this anonymous player gonna be using? Who knows? Ooh, it's a 60 card deck, that's interesting. Still not sure what he's using. Oh no! Fuck, oh my god. Oh my god, at, at least this could be interesting. At least this is gonna make it a little more interesting. So if this ends up being the final duel, that could be actually kind of fun. 
Oh, come on. It was gonna be so fun. Wait. What the hell is a Spriggan's monster? Is that a new archetype? Apparently it is. It seems like a Halloween archetype. I... This is the first time I'm hearing about it. This is an anime archetype if you ever saw one. It feels so like the Zexo era. That's an Zexo era archetype if I ever saw one. And the thing is, I don't know exactly what they do. So that's great, I guess. Um, if this card is special summon from the extra deck, you send one Spriggan's monster from your deck to the graveyard. During your opponent's main phase, you can banish this card. If this card had two or more materials, you can send one fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Fallen of Albas, what the fuck? Uh, if you control now, Spring and Sixties Monster can discard Spring and Scarred, Special Summon 1, Spring and Sixties Monster, if this page, blah blah blah. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything too annoying. So I guess I'm just gonna do whatever I end up usually do. So I'm gonna activate Fantastic Theater, Reveal Extras, and Rise of the Abyss King. Okay, we baited it. So now I can actually get on with stuff, as long as he doesn't have another hand trap. Okay, so we're gonna use this as a link material. Summon the good old Hyper Director. What are you gonna do? Splint a steel plexer. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this monster? I was gonna say, oh, so this is the big boss monster of this deck because I saw that it destroys other cards on the field, but then I read that it says in this card's column, so that's much less threatening. Oh, depending on where he places it. But also, why would he send it to the graveyard? He must have a way to get it to the hand or something. Uh, let's summon you here. And let's put you here, I guess, because we have a low um, scale monster. But we don't really need it there, so I'm not going to summon it. Um, I am going to summon you. And I'm gonna activate your effect, which allows me to set an Abyss Script card for my deck to the field. Then I'm gonna activate it, boosting my life points by 1500. And, um. Hmm. Oh, we can't fusion summon. I was thinking of summoning the fusion monster for once, but I guess we're not going to. Uh, so yeah, I guess this is where we're gonna finish doing stuff, so let's just attack directly. Okay, hopefully this do is gonna be a little bit more back and forth. Okay, so it has an effect in the graveyard. Uh, during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard, because it was sent there this turn, you can add to your hand one special, or special summon one Spriggan's monster or Fallen of Albas from your deck. What the hell is Fallen of Albas? Huh. That's interesting. I might have to take a look at this deck. Or archetype, should I say. Interesting. Not really sure what exactly does this deck does though. It seems to special summon itself very easily and go for Xyz monster, but I don't know. It 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 also has kind of an interesting uh, uh, artwork that I kind of like. So I guess there is at least one positive to this deck or archetype. I keep saying deck. It's an archetype and a deck.
I'm still pretty sure I'm gonna win though. Please don't surrender. Hey, what are you gonna do? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh no! What am I gonna do? Activate effect. Thousand life points are gonna be paid at Evil Hill. Uh, Pendulum Summon 2 monster and let's just completely destroy them. Uh, I'm gonna summon you from my hand, I'm gonna summon you from my hand, and I'm gonna summon you from the extra deck. Bye bye, attack points. I mean, I could also easily activate this as well, so. You're not gonna activate any of your effects, you little. Oh, come on! Yes, I'm gonna count this as a win, but I'm still gonna give it one more duel. Because this is bullshit. People keep surrendering. It's not fair. Yes, right now, I won three out of the four duels. It's how we're gonna go about it. I'm gonna count this as three wins. But I'm still gonna give you, just for the sake of the video, one more duel. And depending on how it goes, we might count it, we might not. If it ends up being a better duel, like more back and forth and it's more fun, I'm gonna count it uh, probably, but we'll see. So let's get into the final duel of this video. And we got our final player again. AK player. I hope it's not the same person, because that's gonna be annoying. And I think it's pretty much the same person. God damn it. Or maybe not. Oh no, it's definitely the same person. Shit. At least this time I'm gonna tell him no surrender. Okay. It seems that in some ways this archetype is parallel uh, to Abyss Hactors because they seem to be able to move resources and do stuff uh, quite a lot just as much as my deck. And the other similarity that these two decks uh, have is that they don't really oppress your opponent, for lack of a better term. They do their stuff, they shuffle their stuff here in, from uh, the graveyard uh, to the field, to the hand, to the deck, and yada yada yada. But they don't really antagonize me. They don't really do much to me. And that's the kind of duels that I like having. And we don't have a spell, so that's fucking great. Um, 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 I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, it's still fine. Are you gonna destroy it? Oh, I don't care about that. I'm gonna summon Funky Comedian. And no, I'm not gonna activate his effect because he's not, not gonna stay on the field for long. Uh, I'm gonna summon Hyper Director as usual because this card is like a lifesaver for this deck. It's like a, it's like a key to a choke point because the deck has a choke point where if you don't get like uh, enough monsters, you're fucked. If you don't able to set up your pendulum scales, you're fucked. With this monster. You can basically do it very easily. It turns a monster in the pendulum zone to a monster on the field, and it puts another most a pendulum monster from your deck, which might be much preferable to be in the pendulum zone into the pendulum zone. 
So now from the deck, I'm going to be putting Mellow Madonna into the Pendulum Zone. Then I'm going to activate her effect, paying 1000 life points. And adding the good old Evil Hill. Okay, we're going to activate Twinkle Little Star. Then I'm going to Pendulum Summon. Two monsters from my hand. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be fine summoning them. I mean, I guess we can summon him from the extra deck as well. It doesn't really hurt anybody. Okay, I think I might win now, but probably not. I don't think I have enough attack points to win. Almost forgot about some of these cards' uh, cards effect. Like Superstar, I'm not now gonna get the Abyss script that uh, gives me life points. I forgot about that. Oh, you motherfucker! Wait, what did you do to it? Uh, you can turn on opponent controls. It cannot attack for the rest of this turn. You suck. You fucking suck. That's fine. I can activate Funky Comedian's effect. He has a pretty nice effect. I'm still gonna destroy your Captain Sargus. Come on, let through my spell card. It's not it's of no harm to you. You're just gonna boost my life points a little bit. Come on! And please don't surrender, because I'm gonna fucking kill you if you do. Cause it's so annoying! Not only I'm fucking waiting for people to activate their cards or allow me to activate my cards, but they, they fucking surrender and don't allow me to play out my strategies. So annoying. Oh, come on. Are you gonna do anything? Honestly at this point just fucking surrender. Give me this duel. Okay, I'm done. I'm not gonna wait anymore. I'm surrendering. Fuck you. Okay, so this video wasn't quite as entertaining as I was hoping that it was going to be. It's not as theatrical as it should have been because after all, we were playing Abyss Hunters. So maybe for next time I will be playing on a different freaking server because on this one people are fucking assholes. We'll try it for next time and see how that does. Maybe it's gonna be better, maybe it's not gonna be. But yeah, I'm sorry if you didn't really enjoy this video, but at the end of the day, I can't really do much more than this. But still, the deck did some stuff, like it showed what it can do, like uh, at the end of the day, I never really, I hope that I was never going to end up using uh, 
Starving Venom and Dark Rebellion because they are not really parts of this archetype and when I'm doing these uh, videos I want to focus on the archetypes themselves because I prefer, as I mentioned in the first episode, I prefer playing pure archetype based, based decks. So in this video uh, the archetype of Abyss Actor still managed to do the stuff that it does, so you pretty much saw what it can do. But I definitely wish I actually got one legit win that I completely destroyed my opponent and it was kind of fun and theatrical, but hey, not every video is gonna be amazing and not every do is going to be amazing, so still, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, uh, before we end this video, I guess I should show you what we're gonna be playing next time. It's going to be Adamancibators, which are a deck that I actually have kind of fallen in love with uh, kind of recently in the last like few months. Um, although my version of the Adamancibator deck is a little bit of a combination between Fossils and Adamancibators, because I feel like Adamancipators just don't have enough stuff on their own to really work in a deck. I'm pretty sure that even if you add all cards of that archetype at 3 to this deck, you still can't get to 40 cards. I, at least I think so. And also it's gonna be kinda boring to just have every single card of that deck at 3, you know? It's probably not gonna be the best version of the deck as well. Plus, I feel like just Fossils are another cool deck that doesn't really have enough stuff to work on its own and it requires uh, it, it doesn't really have that many main deck monsters so having this kind of archetype which sends a lot of rock monsters to the graveyard which is where fossils uh, use uh, materials from just really meshes well like they work together very well so yeah it's a pretty cool deck and I can't wait to try it out next time but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, uh, leave a like and subscribe, also check out the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, cause in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you want to enjoy my stories, or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help get the channel going, and help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine. You can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think it's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!